Hello guys, Calmir here once again. And so today we are going to go over the information for growing a tree farm. Um, before I get started though, I do want to again mention that because I have a mob spawner, um, I have an infinite supply of bones and therefore an infinite supply of bone meal. So my preferred method is to use a birch tree or you could use pine. I think pine grows a little bit taller than birch. Um, and then use bone meal on the sapling in order to instantly grow the tree and then simply cut it down. And the reason I prefer birch or pine is because they don't branch out to the side so you don't have awkward looking canopies um, like the one over there in the distance. So to me it's easier to cut them down, you just look straight up. And so that again is my preferred method. Um, however, if you do prefer to use oak or anything like that, there are some ways of uh, restricting what they can grow into. Basically you can make it so that they specifically grow into straight growing trees, stuff like that. Um, if you do grow oak trees or use the regular saplings, you can put them in a row right next to each other and they can grow as long as there is no uh, log straight above them. There we go. Okay, so you can build, uh, you can have those grow right next to each other without a problem. However, with birch, uh, if you try and grow birch all right next to each other, only the outside or every other space they will grow but they will not grow next to each other. This one will never actually grow. Uh, neither will that one. With pine trees, and I don't have any pine trees, uh, I haven't found a snow bime, but pine trees have to be two spaces apart, like that, uh, for them to grow. If there's anything, uh, any of the ones that's in between two, two trees that are grown will not grow. Um, they have to be at least two spaces apart. So that is the uh, minimum distance that you can have for trees. And go ahead and tear all these down. So if you're looking for compact designs, um, that's as compact as you can make birch trees. You could obviously make wood trees very, very compact. And uh, let me go ahead and cut these down, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, I've got lots of wood. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just work with the regular saplings because uh, again birch doesn't give any problems it grows straight up but uh, oak saplings can branch out and stuff like that so what I'm gonna do is uh, basically we're gonna work on controlling uh, the size of these trees um, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, we're going to actually work on controlling how short a tree is um, this is if you like the trees that branch out. Um, what you can actually do is go up a couple blocks. I'm going to go three high and actually I'm just going to use dirt because I'm going to tear this down anyway so I'm going to build on the fourth layer I'm going to build a ring and what this does for the tree is whenever it tries to grow a certain height it's going to check to see if it can grow gre uh, grass, I'm sorry, leaves around the tree. So when this tries to grow, if it grows too short, it's not going to have enough room for the leaves and it's going to be rejected. So this does make the tree take longer to grow, um, but it uh, basically guarantees it's going to be a taller tree. So when I apply bone mill, do a couple. So this is guaranteeing a tall tree. And I'm actually surprised this did not give me one of the larger uh, branched out trees. Now I'm going to try this again uh, without destroying any of the leaves. Please keep in mind, uh, whenever you're uh, growing trees, if there's a leaf block from a different type, like if these were birch leaves, this tree will not grow unless uh, you remove those leaves. Uh, they, trees cannot grow through leaves of another type of tree. Uh, so let's give this another try. And there we go, this one branched out. I think if I didn't use dirt that uh, it's not actually able to go through the dirt like that. Uh, if I had used stone I think it, it would have uh, stayed solid. Okay, so this is how you control a tree in order to make it taller. Again, you just put a ring up in the air and it prevents it from growing into a short tree. 
Uh, I'm going to let this decay and I'm going to go get some more bone meal. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the next part we're going to do is going to be preventing the trees from growing tall. Um, we'll do it on this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing where we use a block to make it so when Minecraft checks to see if there's enough room, it's going to fail if it's too tall. Um, so we're going to set the limit at, I want the trunk to be 6 high. And the reason for that is because when you walk up to a trunk, you can easily reach the first two blocks. One, two. And then from there, when you look up, you can actually go four blocks up without having to jump up on top of anything. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so this tree was actually the perfect height. And uh, so we'll go ahead and do that on, on this one over here. So again, We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then trees always have an extra layer for canopy. Uh, depending on the size of the tree, usually it's one, two, or three layers of leaves above the trunk. So we're just going to go one up, and that actually brings us uh, in queue with that tree on uh, the same height as that tree. Put a uh, block right there real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a solid block up here with torches all the way around it. And the reason we're going to go with tor torches instead of using like a glass block is uh, mostly this is if you play either with fancy graphics off, in other words you use fast graphics, or if you play on a server. And the reason for that is because when you play with fancy graphics on, leaf blocks are considered transparent. So right there mobs cannot spawn on a transparent block. But if you are playing on fancy graphics or on a server, the grass, uh, the block is considered a full solid block. So mobs can actually spawn on trees in the dark if you have it on fast graphics. Um, as on a server, it does not matter what you have your graphics set to. The server automatically uh, depicts the world as having it with fast graphics. So even if you're on a server playing on your computer with fancy graphics the server can still spawn mobs on top of trees so this block having the torches on it will light up the top of your tree and prevent mobs from spawning and go ahead and set that back to fancy okay so now if you plant a tree under here and if it tries to grow bigger than six for the trunk it's not going to have enough room for the leaves above it. So anything that is uh, seven or bigger will automatically be uh, declined by the program and so the tree will not grow. So the, it may take a little bit longer for it to grow, but anything that is shorter than uh, seven, so six or shorter, will grow. And so that's how you can prevent uh, having super tall trees on your world. Okay, now I'm also going to show you um, what's called a 80% uh, efficiency uh, tree farm. And the way that this works is this is the same principle that I had for, uh, that I showed you when I was making my uh, sugarcane farm. Um, I was showing you that if you had a water block, that it would be the source for the four sugarcane around it. And what you could do is you could set up a specific pattern that all basically look like a uh, a knight's move in chess. Uh, I missed that somehow. Um, but basically when you set up this pattern, uh, it will allow you to put trees all around each one of the torches. So like if this one grows and that one grows, actually I'll show you real quick. If this one grows and this one grows, Okay, well, if this torch wasn't here, this torch, this tree no longer has a light. So by setting it up with this uh, pattern, um, all the trees will end up having plenty of light that they can grow uh, larger. So let me go ahead and clear this space out once again, and I will sleep so that this is uh, daytime, and I will show you how this works. Okay, guys, I'm quickly going to go ahead and show you how to uh, set up a 80% uh, efficiency farm. The reason it's called 80% efficiency is because it's one torch and four trees. 
and so f out of five blocks four of them are trees that's 80 percent and 20 percent is light so what I would do is the first thing I would do is I would definitely build this in a room that has a seven high ceiling so the eighth block would actually be the ceiling um, just like we did that block there that prevents you from having trees that branch out uh, and that way because uh, if a tree branches then the next tree that's beside it won't be able to grow uh, as easily because it's got a, a block above it already so having the low ceiling helps prevent uh, too many branching trees that that prevent your other trees from growing so again this is going to use a uh, pattern that's similar to what I demonstrated on my sugarcane farm every it's going to be a six by six and one two three four five nope too far okay and so once you have a six by six area you're gonna go out two and over left or out two and over right either way you have to make sure you remember so I went left so I'm gonna go one two left one two left make a circle around okay and I would actually probably like destroy this dirt block and put cobblestone underneath it so you can easily see where the torches go and then if you wanted to continue this pattern you would just go out that way or you can go out that way and you know you can extend this six by six as much as you want so if this is number one two three four five six one two three four five six so there's our next six by six and same thing one two to the left and do a complete circle whoops like that one two left so that's how you would set up all your torches and then from there everything else you just plant trees by um, all the torches will have four trees by them this torch is not part of this system it's part of my border and Okay, and uh, also something else I would suggest if you build this, uh, again, build it indoors, is put a border around the outside. So, like, I would destroy that tree. Uh, your wall would be along here. So I would have destroyed this tree so that I could still walk through here. Uh, I would put a torch here and put a tree there. Destroy this one. And... You know if my border continued around that way so destroy this one so I could still walk around this way torch tree so you get the idea uh, just make sure you have a border around so you can actually walk around destroying all the trees um, so again this is 80 percent effective uh, or efficiency tree farm I would suggest building it underground and I'm actually going to show you a way that you could use redstone uh, I don't think it works with the efficiency method, uh, but I'll go ahead and clear this area and make a regular looking uh, tree garden, I guess, and uh, I'll be right back with that. Okay guys, I've uh, made a very simple uh, four tree farm, I've got the little blocks above it. I've got it spaced out um, just perfectly so that when these trees grow, there's still enough room to walk in between them. I've got lava in the holes. And the way that this works is I have a five clock back here. Again, I would set this to an on off switch somewhere. And whenever the tree grows, the repeater will actually send the signal through the tree trunk. It does have to be blinking or it won't work. And then you can have your signal torches anywhere you want. And uh, so if this is far away, it would let you know when your trees are ready, um, even though uh, even if you were far away so I could have these run over to the front of the house somewhere so I'd know when these trees are fully grown anyway so I hope you guys have enjoyed my video and uh, if you learned something new or felt, th felt that this was efficient please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe I will see you in my next video